It was winter in the forest. Bear and his friends were playing one final game of pinecone hockey. Bear hit the pinecone, but he missed the goal. Bear wanted to keep playing, but it was getting late. It was time for everyone to go to their warm homes for the winter. Bear walked with Fox to her house. It was brightly lit with Christmas lights. A small tree she had planted during the spring was hung with colourful decorations. Fox gave Bear a big hug goodbye. Bear was hungry, but he had been so busy during the summer having lots of fun with Fox, he had forgotten to buy noodles for the long winter ahead. Bear decided to walk to the other side of Big Moose Mountain to buy a big box of tasty noodles. It began to snow heavily. Bear couldn't see and tripped over. He slid down a big hill into the dark forest. Back at home, Fox took some honey muffins she had baked to Bear's cave. But Bear wasn't there. Fox was worried. She gathered everyone together to search for Bear. The friends split up, looking in Bear's favourite places. Beaver looked behind Bear's favourite scratching tree. Rabbit looked inside a hollow log full of insects. Squirrel looked under a big pile of twigs. And Deer looked into the river but saw only fish. They couldn't find Bear anywhere. Bear had never been to this part of the forest before and he didn't know the way home. He was cold, hungry and a bit scared. Bear made a small sculpture of Fox from some sticks and for a moment it made him feel a little bit happier. He soon fell asleep and dreamed he was swimming in a giant bowl of fish-flavoured noodles. Bear was woken by a loud noise. But it was only Yowl who'd been searching for him all night. The two friends talked all the way home. They arrived at the edge of the forest as the sun was coming up. Owl flew home for a nap. Bear trudged back to his cave. He was so tired, he felt like he could sleep forever. When Bear woke up, he was back in his warm cave. Fox was standing next to his bed. She had a present for Bear. It was a big box of noodles. But Bear didn't have a present for Fox. Then he remembered something he had made while he was lost. Later, Bear gave Fox a small gift. It was the stick sculpture. Fox placed it on top of her tree. All of the friends gathered together to celebrate. Merry Christmas, everyone.